Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create it so that AI can toggle between just having the normal mesh and being a particle. So this one's a request and so essentially if the AI moves it's going to be a particle or it will just toggle to be a particle at random times. So if you're not too sure what I mean by that let me hit play and show you. So as you can see when the AI is moving it's going to be a particle. So as you can see it looks like smoke when it's moving and when it's not moving it's just a normal mesh like so. And then obviously we can also have this so it toggles between the particle and mesh in different areas as well because I do set it up so you can then just use this in any different place that you'd want. So you can use it in any context you'd like but in this example right here it's just when the AI is moving. So this is what we made today, quite an obscure little thing but obviously again been quite highly requested so I'm going to be going over it because someone else might find this useful to do as well. So again this is what we made today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our AI blueprint, which for me is just a duplicate of the third person character, which I've renamed AI and just removed the camera from. Everything else in here is the exact same as you can see. And so what I've also got in here is I've just got my random roam code so that the AI can move about as well, which I do have different videos going over how to set that up too. And once you've done all that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the viewport so we can actually add in this particle system. So I'm gonna go up to the top left and add a component and simply search for particle system, naming it particle system, whatever you like. And I'm just gonna have the template as smoke. You can obviously set this up to be absolutely whatever you like, but for me, I'm just gonna have it as smoke. Again, choose what you want. And what I'm also gonna do is make sure that I scroll down on the right and untick visible. So by default, we're not going to see this smoke, unless of course you want it to start with the smoke visible. You're gonna tick visible there and then untick visible on the mesh just depends which way around you want it to be. Once we've done that, we can compile, save, and then go over to the event graph here, and now we're gonna set up toggling between the two. So to do that, I'm gonna right click and add a custom event. I'm gonna name this one toggle particle. That makes sense for me, you can choose whatever you like. And out of this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a reference to my particle system up here. Out of this, I'm gonna get is visible. And so this is how I'm just gonna tell whether or not I want to toggle the particles on or off. Because if it's not visible, I want to turn them on. So to check that, I'm going to hold down B, left click to get a branch, connecting that in there, and the condition as the return value of the is visible there. And so true, if the particle system is visible, I want to hide the particles and then show the mesh again. So I can again drag and drop our particle system in here. Out of this, get a set visibility, connecting that into true like so. And the new visibility, I'm gonna leave as false or unticked, so it's going to be hidden. And then after this, I'm gonna get a reference to my mesh, and again, get set visibility, connecting in there, and now this time, the new visibility is going to be ticked, so we're going to show the mesh. So we're hiding the particle and showing the mesh. And then very simply, we can just select these, Control C, Control V to duplicate them, connecting these into false now, and then just gonna move these under here, and we can just switch these around. So if it's false, so the particle isn't hidden, we're gonna show it. So tick particle system, untick mesh. So if it is visible, we're gonna hide it, show the mesh. If it's not visible, we're gonna show it, hide the mesh. So that's how we're gonna to toggle between them. I'm gonna compile and save that. And that's essentially the main part of this code set up for what you need. So this right here is how we're gonna to toggle it. So whenever you want to toggle it, you're just going to right click and call function, not random row, I'm sorry, it will be toggle particle there, or whatever you've named it. So again, wherever you want to toggle it, just call this function and it will do that. I'm gonna show you how to do it for when the AI is moving. So I'm gonna go down to my random roam code down here. As you can see, this is what I've got. So when I call the function random roam, that means that the AI is going to start moving. So what I want to do is toggle it. However, what I'm gonna do instead is do it off of the execution of AI move two, just so I know that it is working. So off the execution of AI move two, I'm going to call function toggle particle because that way it's going to toggle when it starts moving and it's going to turn it on because it's off by default. And then on success, so once it's finished moving, it's got to the location, I'm going to again call the function toggle particle because it's going to toggle it once again, this time turning it off because it's finished moving. It's already on, so toggling it again will turn it off. So that's going to work for me. So it's now going to toggle the particle when it's moving and toggle it again when it stops. So I compile and save and hit play to test this out. We can see that the AI is standing there. When it starts to move, it's smoke. And when it stops moving, 
it's just normal mesh again. So this does work perfectly. Essentially, the AI is going to turn into a particle system when it's moving, and when it stops moving, it will toggle back to being a normal mesh. And again, you can set this up however you want, so it will toggle between mesh and particle system wherever and whenever you want it to by simply just calling this function that we made and set up and created up here. So again, this might be more simple than you expected it to be, but here it is. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. We set it up so we can toggle the AI's mesh to either be visible or not, and when it's not, it's going to swap out to be a particle, so it essentially gives the illusion of the player believing that the AI has now become a particle system or whatever you want in your game, instead of being an actual person. So this might be good if you have maybe a ghost, and that when the ghost moves, you want it to be kind of like steamy particles or whatever you want, instead of the actual mesh. Or anything along those lines once again. But thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.